So I decided to do this uh, painting of a ram. Why? Because, well, I like rams. Uh, it, it, it uh, you know, I, I love the power in their horns and their, you know, bodies and stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do this in really strong colors. I did the last one kind of muted, lots of grays, lots of toned down values, lots of the saturations lower. I am going to hit this as hard as I can to make the color really strong and vibrant and, and in your face. And, uh, and I'm hoping to have a really fun, exciting painting when I'm done. Um, this is from a picture that uh, I took in Glacier National Park. Um, my most favorite hike in the entire United States is Logan Pass and you always see big animals um, every time I've ever been on that hike and, and I've done that hike like three four times now and um, there's you know the the bighorn sheep there's the you know the white um, um, mountain goats and and there's baby mountain goats and and, it, and it's just a fun hike um, it's a very popular hike it, it's hard to get into the parking lot but it's well worth the effort of getting up early and going on the hike because you get up close and really see these animals <coughs> you know and, and they're just absolutely beautiful so this will be the next painting it'll be exciting so last time I had a question, where, why didn't I do the negative space in the landscape first? Normally, yes, that's what you probably should do, is fill in the negative space, then you know what the color and values in your main focal point will be. Um, but uh, I have bad habits. I try not to teach my students bad habits, but so this is for Jeannie Gutierrez. I'm doing the negative space. I'm just kind of laying out the colors that I'm wanting to look at. I want bright, strong colors and I'm going to do um, some neutrals in the body but try to do bright, strong, very saturated colors in the foreground too. So it's coming along. I'm excited. I really like my the, the weeds down here where, where it's catching light. Um, I think I'm going to lighten this a little bit back here yet. But uh, I'm going to start going after the main focal point, you know, which would be the, the figure of the, the bighorn sheep. So I've got a lot of color in the figure here. It looks, these, these colors are overdone and, and really strong. So what I need to do now is I'm going to mix other things into these and tone them down a little bit. But the, it's kind of like an underpaint. And... Uh, but I'm going to paint wet and wet. So I'm trying to alter these colors, uh, modify them to, to make it work. And so that's going to give me really nice bright colors, but I'll be able to modify them, bring them back down a little bit, and it should all work um, visually and, and get it all to work. I still have lots of stuff to do here. I need to cover this white, get this set, before I can really um, adjust things throughout the entire figure. And so um, as soon as I get this done, then I can go back and, and modify everything while everything's still um, nice and wet. Hopefully I don't run out of energy before I get to that point, but, but you know, it, it's all pulling together pretty quickly here. Okay, so now I have some color value on everything. I pretty much lost all the white. Now I need to go back over and I'm going to modify a lot of these colors, make them stronger, make them more exciting. Um, I need to 
add in highlights yet. Um, I've got some highlights, almost there, not quite. I don't have the highlight back here that I want, um, and the highlights on the face aren't quite right. But I'm going to do that with value and modify the colors. So all these colors are still all wet. <clears throat> now I can go back in and either make them warm or cool, um, make them stronger um, as far as saturation, how, how strong the color is. And, uh, and that should make the whole thing very exciting, much more interesting to look at. So colors can be the name of the game from here on out and getting the values right. So I'm going to probably push some of the shadows a little, definitely bring up the highlights and um, adjust values a little bit. You know, there's some values here that aren't quite right, but I'll get those. You know, they're, they're coming. Now it's just a matter of um, adding in um, a lot of, you know, the detail and... and and, and adjusting things, but it's it's looking fun. So <clears throat> I'm pretty much done with this painting. I have a few little tweaks that I want to do, but the color, everything is um, really close to what I what I was envisioning. Um, I wanted strong, intense, exciting colors. I wanted things to be um, really in your face and and um, I wanted high contrast and um, just very rich, saturated colors. So I'll zoom in and you can look at the really strong colors I'm using all over the figure and uh, you can see some of the background. I still want to work a little bit on this, but pretty much it's it's I'm pretty satisfied with how everything's looking right now. So move this and we'll zoom in. So you can see the color. Um, the brushwork. So it's very strong, intense color, but it all reads right when you move back. down a little here. Oops. So you can see some of the color in the figure. Very strong, rich colors. Okay. Let me take the camera off the tripod here so you can really see the brushwork. Color's a little off there. It's actually stronger yellow. But that is the painting.